I'm Navita Bhava and I'm a developer advocate for Facebook open source. Today, I'm going to explain the project Proxygen to you like you're 5 years old. So let's go. Proxygen is a collection of C++ libraries that makes it very easy to build clients, servers and proxies. It focuses on building a high performance C++ HTTP framework with sensible defaults that include both server and client code that's easy to integrate into existing applications. Proxygen originally began as a project to write a customizable and high performance HTTPS reverse proxy load balancer and was initially planned to be a software library for generating proxies, hence the name. When data is transmitted through the interwebs, most data follows a standard or protocol called Hypertext Transfer Protocol or HTTP. For example, if I open a web-based chat application from my computer, the client, a request is sent to the server to tell that I want to know what the most recent messages in my thread are. The server then will send back a response. Sometimes there is a proxy, a device or server that acts on behalf of another device. It sits between the client and the server and can help perform a service on both the request and the response. A reverse proxy accepts the request from a client and forwards it to the server that can actually fulfill this request and then returns the server's response to the client as if the proxy itself processed the request. A load balancer may be used to distribute these incoming client requests among a bunch of servers. This ensures that no single server bears too many requests. The load balancer then returns the response from the selected server to the appropriate client. However, since its early days, the Proxygen library has evolved considerably. Internally, it is used as the basis for building many HTTP servers, proxies and clients. Proxygen framework supports HTTP 1.1, HTTP 2 and HTTP 3 and provides a modern C++ HTTP library which is simple and performant. Proxygen's C++ HTTP stack architecture consists of four parts. A session, a codec, a transaction, and a handler. These parts work hand in hand to allow serializing and deserializing of HTTP messages. Proxygen was made open sourced by Facebook in 2014 and currently many internal systems are built on top of the Proxygen core code including parts of systems like HHVM, our photo storage haystack, our HTTP load balancers, and as the primary HTTP stack in the Facebook and Instagram apps. Proxygen is being actively developed and new features are regularly added. To learn more about Proxygen, check out its GitHub repo for installation guidelines and samples, or check out the announcement blog post, which tells more about the background of the project and about Proxygen's architecture in detail. If you'd like to see more about Proxygen on this channel, give this video a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.